What's up, you guys? This is One Classic Gamer here, and uh, <laughs> it's time to talk Walking Dead, man. Oh my god. So, I just got done watching The Walking Dead season finale, uh, episode 16. I don't know the title of it. Um, I don't want to look up. I don't want to look it up right now. I just need to talk about it because holy fucking shit. I'm sorry for my language, but Jesus freaking Christ. Oh my god. This this I I'll say right now. This is probably the most intense episode of The Walking Dead that I've ever seen before. And it's not just The Walking Dead. It's the most intense thing I've seen on TV before, on any TV program. And in no other horror movie that I have seen has matched up, like, what I felt in this episode. The last 30 minutes of this episode are so nail-biting. I, I was sweating. My hands were sweating. I was, my heart was beating really hard. I was freaking, like, hyperventilating, man. That's how crazy this episode was. Oh, my God. Um, now... I've said it before in my past Walking Dead videos, if you don't want this to be spoiled, and I'm really not messing around this time, let me turn this down a little bit, if you don't want this to be spoiled, get off of this video right now, because somebody does die, I will say that, um, sorry, you're watching this video, I, you know, I put spoiler alert in the title, but you decided to watch this video anyway, so... That's your bad. Somebody dies. We don't know who dies, but somebody does die by the hands of Negan himself. They finally, finally introduced Negan, and oh my god, this scene was just, it was insane. It was crazy. I wish I would recorded my live reaction of it because it was such a genuine, like, this scene scared me. I was scared. Like, I wanted this episode to be over because I was scared. They were purposely dragging this scene on, on purpose, you know, leaving us in suspense for such a long time. And in the end, they give us an annoying ass cliffhanger, of course. We don't know who died, but somebody dies. Negan beats the shit out of somebody with his bat covered in freaking barbed wire. He fucking kills somebody. Now, let me rewind a bit because I want to talk about the actual episode itself as a whole before I get into this. So, basically, to explain what is going on to you guys, there, what's going on in The Walking Dead right now is they're, they're introducing, they've introduced this new group of bad guys called the Saviors, who are a huge part of the comic books, of course. Um, I don't read the comic books, but I know they're a huge part of the comic books because I've actually researched it, I've read it online and whatnot. They introduced the Saviors, and they're these, they are, these, pe these people, by the way, are terrible. These are really bad people. These are the most ruthless people we've seen in The Walking Dead yet. They are Terrible people. They are fucking serial killers. That's what they are. Um, they're basically, they have this motto where they're like, you know what? You give us your shit or we're going to kill all of you guys. That's what these guys are like. And they are brutal ass people. Um, but what happens is Rick and his gang, or in his group, come across this other community called the Hilltop Community earlier on in the season. Which is a nice community. They're on Rick's side. And they basically have all of the food and everything that Rick needs. And Rick's group has all the ammo. So they're willing to trade. But they will not. The boss doesn't want to trade. And they say. And Rick and his group basically says. Here we'll handle these Negan people for you. And once we take care of them. Then we'll be able to trade. So Rick and his and his group, they, they have, there's an episode where they go in, into the, one of their headquarters, and they're murdering people in their sleeps, and they get rid of all of them, and they think, of course, Rick think, thinks that's it, and they think they're done with whole Negan, but apparently this whole Negan thing is way huger 
than they think it is. I mean, the, we, the audience, we knew that it, it wasn't, it was not over it, because that was like episode like 13 and there's, there were 16 episodes in the season and just in the walking dead, when something is too good to be true, you know, it, it's, it's not, it's not true. So of course, Negan is a lot, the Negan group is a lot bigger than we thought it was. And uh, fast forward a couple episodes, Maggie is pregnant and she's going through, she's having issues. So the, their only course of action is to take Maggie to the uh, the doctor at Hilltop because their doctor dies uh, in a specific episode. I'm not really going to go into too much detail about that, but she dies. And so their only option is to take Maggie on a trip and take her to the doctor at Hilltop or else Maggie's probably going to die or something like that. And um, at this point, when they're going on their trip, I believe it's Rick, it's Rick, Abraham, Eugene, Maggie, Sasha, and uh, who else? What's the other person? Aaron. I think that's all of them. There's like, yeah, there's five of them uh, that are traveling. The other people, um, Daryl, Maggie, Glenn, or no, Daryl, Glenn, Michonne, and Rosita, um, have been captured by Negan already. And, you know, the thing about it is this was a, an hour and a half long episode and we didn't get to see what happened to them until the very, very end of the episode. And Daryl is alive, by the way. He's not dead, like I theorized, but he could be dead because we don't know who Negan killed. But anyways, Rick, they're all traveling in the RV, trying to get to Hilltop, and everywhere they go, they're just getting blocked their their path is getting blocked by these saviors like they will not let them make it to the hilltop like you know in the first couple of times they they run into the saviors the saviors basically let them off easy and you're figuring like you're thinking like why aren't the saviors just like they could just kill them right there why aren't they doing that turns out they're leading them straight into a trap um so everywhere they go, they're getting stopped by the saviors, but the saviors are letting them go, and they eventually decide that, you know, it's nighttime, they're expecting them to be in the RV, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the RV under the cover of dark and try to walk to the hilltop, which is sort of a smart move, I guess, you know, because you can kind of trick them, and they, it seems like a smart move, and it's getting all emotional, and you feel, feel like Eugene's going to die. But then, you know, you see Rick and all of them traveling through the forest, and all of a sudden you hear, you start hearing, hearing the whistling of the saviors, and then they start running, they start running, and all of a sudden they make it into, like, this open, like, space, like, in the woods, like a clearing or something, and they're just surrounded by, like, 40, 50 saviors. They're surrounded. Everybody is just surrounded, and... At that point, you could just see the fear in Rick's eyes. Like he is, he is genuinely horrified in this scene. Like if you watch it, like he, everyone looks horrified. They're like, "Holy fuck, we're not gonna get out of this. We've been beaten. There's no way we're gonna make it through this because, you know, it's just insane." They're and then they're all like, "Give us your shit and get on your knees." We can't work this out anymore. It's time for you guys to listen. And so they all get on their knees and they're all lined up. Um, all five of them. Then they bring Daryl, Glenn, Michonne, and Rosita out. Daryl's okay, by the way. And they all line, they line them all out and then line them all up in a straight line. And then Negan comes out. Finally, they introduce Negan. And he's got a, a, a bat with barbed wire on it. And he just starts monologuing, and this scene goes on for like 10 minutes, and it's insane. It is the most intense scene I've seen in anything before, because the suspense, like, the suspense, the, the you could, the just, the, the fact that it's dark, it's nighttime, you can see the horror in there, and every, all of Rick's group's eyes for the first time, like, holy fuck, we've been beaten, there's nothing we can do. Negan clearly being in control, you not knowing who the hell he's going to kill, the fact that they dragged the scene out for such a long time made Negan such an awesome villain, but at the same time, it was so scary because you're you're watching it, 
and you don't want somebody to die, but they're dragging it on. You're like, just kill somebody already. And then Negan starts going like, Eeny, Mamie, Miney, Mo. And he just says, I think he says like, you know, something about, I, I don't know. He says something and it's a first person point of view and he just starts beating the shit out of one of the characters and blood starts pouring down and then the screen goes to black and you hear, you hear him like beating somebody to death and they leave you in suspense as to who actually died. Um, and I, you know, describing it like this, I, you may think, oh, that sounds pretty intense. No, if you, it's, you have to watch this episode to know how intense it is. It's such an intense episode. This episode was crazy. The last 30 minutes of it was crazy. And Negan, the actual introduction of Negan was great, but horrifying at the same time. This guy means business, and he is the most ruthless villain we have seen in The Walking Dead by far. Now, if I had to take speculations as to who got killed, I don't know. I honestly don't even, I don't know. I mean, at first I thought he killed, that Negan killed Carl. Um, because he said something about like, you're going to need to take his other eye out and feed it to his daddy or something like that. Um, but you really don't know. We don't know. Like, we're going to have to wait like five months now for the next season to come on. I think it's five months, right? Yeah, because The Walking Dead usually comes out uh, in October and it's it's April. So, um, yeah, about five months. We, we, we have to wait five freaking months for The Walking Dead to come back. So, overall... My opinion of the episode, it was a great finale. You know what? It was a little bit slow in the beginning. I will say that. Um, but the payoff of it, the final 30 minutes of it was so great and so suspenseful and so intense that it is one of the best episodes ever. It's definitely in my top five list of best episodes because, oh my God, um, we got some pretty good character development moments. Um, by the way, uh, what's his face? I don't know the name of the actor, but Trevor from GTA 5 is in this in this show now, which I thought was pretty cool. I was like, is that Trevor from GTA 5? I could tell by like the voice. And then like, they brought Trevor into this. So that was that was cool that they brought him into the, the show. He's a good actor, in my opinion. You know, play GTA 5. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, a good, he's awesome. Uh, and uh, there were some pretty good moments between... Morgan and Carol, like, there was a, actually a really great moment where Carol is basically just given up, and she doesn't want to live anymore, and this guy is shooting her, and, and shooting her in the arm, and the leg, and stuff like that, and basically torturing her, and she starts laughing, she's like, I'm gonna die, yay, she, or she didn't say that, but she's like, the guy's like, why are you laughing, bitch, and he's like, she's like, because I get to finally die, and, you know, it was kind of a, I'm not going to lie, it was kind of a happy scene, but, and a dark kind of happy, because, you know, if you lived in that world, you know, of the, if you lived in the world of The Walking Dead, it's probably so damaging to some people, like Carol, that you just wish you want to die, and that's what she was going through in that moment, and she's about to die, but then Morgan who doesn't kill anybody, who's had this ideology where he wants to spare people because his buddy Easton taught him not to, for the first time, he brutally just murders this guy. Like, he shoots the guy, like, three or four times and kills the dude. And I love that scene. I was like, whoa, Morgan, you finally killed somebody because Carol told you that there's a price that you have to pay. And I thought that was a great scene. And obviously... He ran into some more people uh, in these this like SWAT gear riding horses. It was kind of weird, but um, I, I don't know if they're part of Hilltop or if they're part of another community, but we got more people on Rick's side. But the main hugest thing about this episode was definitely the last 30 minutes of it. And I'm glad that this was a 90-minute episode because if you would have made this a, an hour-long episode... You just couldn't have had all of the, all of this amazing, all of the development and this amazing intense shit in an hour long episode. Like I thought that the ninety minute uh, runtime fit perfectly, and 
I'm very curious as to what's going to happen now in The Walking Dead. Um, I haven't read the comic books, so I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess Rick and his group, they're going to have to roll with these people for now. For now and find some way to escape. Um, one thing's for sure, I do think the next the entire next season is probably going to be Rick trying to beat Negan and his people. But uh, my, my predictions, I think that what's going to happen, uh, I heard that in the comic books what happens is Rick and his group, they team up with the Hilltop community, and they all go against the Saviors. So I don't know what's going to happen, but this was a fucking amazing season oh my god this season was so good there wasn't an entire episode in the season that i hated that i thought was disappointing even the episodes i didn't like before i went back and watched them and appreciated them and this has been in my opinion the best season of the walking dead it has been the best season of the walking dead with without a doubt is now the best season of the walking dead and I originally gave it a 9 out of 10. I'm giving it a full 10 out of 10 now because, honestly, this season was so good. It was it was so great. And it's sad that this season is over. Fear the Walking Dead is coming on soon, but I'm not even going to waste my time with that. So you, you guys all know why I don't give a shit about that, that show. If you watch my Fear the Walking Dead rant video, you know I hate that show. Um, my bad. I saw I was felt something out here. Um, but, yeah, it's been a great season of The Walking Dead, uh, and I think the show has built momentum again, and has built momentum and is officially good again, because it was, there was a period of time where the show kind of, um, faltered and wasn't very good, it was kind of slow and, you know, kind of got old, but now I think The Walking Dead is making a comeback, and the producers realized that some of us haven't really didn't really like the last season too much and we're like we got to make this season amazing and they did they went all out with this season so that's my thoughts on the walking dead um episode 16 the finale it was fucking crazy uh watch it now if you haven't because you know it was great um I loved it. I know a lot of people are going to hate it for the that cliffhanger that they left us on. A lot of people are going to... Uh, it. This is going to be a huge internet topic for probably the next couple weeks because people are just going to be speculating and speculating, speculating what's going to happen next, who died. You know, it's going to be nuts, but it was great. It was amazing. It did not cease to amaze me. It actually exceeded my expectations, so... That's it. That's my review of The Walking Dead season six or season sixteen, season six, episode sixteen, and my overall review of episode of the entire season as a whole. It's amazing. Go and check it out right now. Even if you're not a Walking Dead fan, go and check it out because it's amazing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please comment, rate, subscribe. I should probably be getting to bed right now. It's uh, eleven thirty. Um, because I gotta go to school tomorrow, but I had, I had to talk about this. I just had to talk about this. So if you enjoyed this, please, and if you enjoyed this video, sorry, I'm, I'm kind of tired. Sorry, my bad. If you enjoyed this video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Hashtag walking dead.